Hi everyone, it's been a long time since my last video, so I thought it was time for an update. In the meantime, a few things happened here on my channel as well. First, I got past the 100 subscribers mark, so I think it's a good moment to thank all those who subscribe. And second, a clip of one of my videos was featured by Nile Red. That was unexpected. Especially considering that this is a channel that only has three videos, done by a guy with no video making skills. Thanks Nightride for citing me. Highly appreciated. But now back on the main topic of this video, the update. You promised a video about making a display using the phosphorescent material. Where is it? Well, as you guessed, the reason why the video isn't out yet is, well, because my attempt failed. Here's what I did. I used the PCB to make the display segments. For the front part, I used glass coated with indium tin oxide, a transparent conductor. Also, this part was etched, just like a PCB. The phosphor was mixed with epoxy resin, and it was applied between the PCB and glass. A small drop of galinstan is used to make the contact between the top electrode and the bottom, as it is not possible to solder on glass. However, it does not work. I tried applying a progressively higher voltage till it even arced between the contacts, but the display still did not glow. So I went back and read some literature on the subject. It appears that of all the ways you can make a phosphor glow, such as through UV or an electron beam, using electricity directly is the hardest one. Only some phosphors work in this mode and require special condition too. I haven't given up on this project, but it's currently on hold. As for what else I've been working on, well, let's see. I tried making other colors of phosphorus, all based on zinc sulfide, but those did not turn out very well either. Trying to make a yellow phosphor using manganese resulted in a material with a lot of dark spots and a low average brightness. A blue attempt with silver was very dim. I also tried making red phosphorescent material using a mix of zinc and tin sulfide, but that one didn't grow at all. Another major project I've been working on is building a fume hood. That one took quite a lot of time, and it isn't completed yet. At this stage, though, it's a functional aspirator with industry-grade filters, so it's already quite useful. Other than that, I made some other synthesis. Some of them I took the time to fill them, some I didn't even bother. I can testimate when I edit the videos and put them online, sorry about that. Before leaving you, though, I'll leave a question. What's this fluorescent material? Hint, it's organic. Can anyone guess? Write your answer in the comments. 